Do you wanna feel extremely confident on the helm of a bigger boat? Let me tell you my three tips. Plus an extra tip for my lady captains out there. I am Captain Boomy's professionally salty for 20 years. I now float boats and make videos about it. Uh, if you find me mildly entertaining or informative, please do the like, subscribe, bing bong, bleh, button stuff. This particular video comes on the heels of a annoyingly exciting docking that I had to do this past week at the Annapolis Powerboat Show. This is Ego Alley in Annapolis. It's named that because you have to have some pretty puffy gonads to take a boat down here and spin it around in front of all of downtown Annapolis while like a bunch of other boats are trying to do the same thing to show off. It can be very tight for a boat that is more than 30 feet and it gets even tighter during the boat show when they bring in extra floating docks. I was in a 1957 56 foot Chris Craft. And if you're familiar with my channel, yes, that 1957 Chris Craft. And I was told to go to this dock. And then I lost an engine. No, I didn't have a bow thruster. This was 1957. Meh. And the next morning, they asked me to move slips. And we hadn't fixed the engine yet. They need me to move slips with one engine. So I gotta go from here to over there. Uh, and I just lost a whole lot of space to maneuver. So how was I able to do this and not freak out? Tip number one, good crew. <laughs> I had my husband with me and we have excellent communication. He gives me really accurate distances to things that I can't see when I'm on the helm and I can stay at the helm and focus solely on driving the boat and putting it where it needs to go. You know, you can do a lot more with the throttles than you can trying to find a fender and fend off of something. Tip number two, go so slow, it's boring. It should be so, so boring because you cannot have boring and panic all at the same time. If the boat's still going in the direction you want it, even if it is really, really slow, just go with it. Let it happen. Get bored. That's perfect. That's what you want. Do nothing. Let it go. Oh. The best part about that is if it's slow enough, it takes all the pressure off because even the people on shore get bored watching you inch along without doing anything. Tip number three, have towing insurance, something like Boat US. Hey, Chesapeake region, please love me. They will bring you into your slip if your boat is disabled and losing an engine counts as being disabled. Unfortunately for me, I didn't have time for this option, getting to the boat show. And now for my bonus tip for the ladies. Ladies, I know you feel frustrated by the exhausting comments that you get when you're on the dock. Don't get upset. This is a great time to practice using that focus that you need when you're on the helm. Instead, do what I do. Hey, that was some nifty docking you did there, sweetheart. I mean, it was a difficult maneuver even for me, sugar pie. Somebody with outside genitals. Well, gee, thanks, mister. I learned yesterday. And then skip along the dock. It's so much more fun than getting stressed out and boating is supposed to be fun. Okay, for real, I really mean it about uh, like, subscribe, comment, stuff. You made it this far, do it. You can't hurt my feelings. I'm a woman captain. <laughs> comment.